Hello everyone. Welcome to Holistic Workshop. Obesity is a personal and sensitive subject for many to discuss. However, unfortunately, it has assumed epidemic proportions and the need to address this burning issue is critically vital and needed more today than ever before. It is ubiquitous, a pandemic affecting more than a billion people in the world with multiple health issues. The good news is that obesity is preventable. Obesity is conventionally measured using a person's height and weight and expressed as a body mass index. However, there are better parameters such as a rest hip ratio and body fat to define it more accurately. The U.S. population is literally increasing in size and now stands at a whopping 40%. Compare a map of obesity from 1985 to 2014 and it is a telling story. It has not spared our youth and children, and particularly children, from the lower socioeconomic strata. However, we are not alone if it makes you happy. Countries in Asia, Africa, and Europe are also now beset with the same issues. Emerging economies have also a problem of unhealthy urban populations, which has the potential to stem future growth if left unchecked. This has become big business. Obesity societies have been formed both in US and elsewhere. Cutoffs have been altered and it is now designated as a disease, rightly or wrongly. New diets, new pills and surgeries continue to take a toll. It has become a money-making industry. This is where we went wrong. Now, why should we care? Well, obesity leads to multiple metabolic derangements through multiple pathways leading to diseases downstream with devastating consequences. More than half of all cancers in women and up to a quarter of all cancers in men are associated with obesity and are preventable. Think about it. Compared to a normal weight person, the risk of developing heart failure, coronary disease and stroke in an obese individual is 200 to 300 times higher. Wow! How can we not care? The risk for diabetes is almost 50 times higher. Obese individuals experience reduction in life expectancy anywhere from 3 to 10 years. We need to care. We have to care. They hurt themselves and potentially others. The cost of managing obesity-related illnesses medical conditions are staggering. Billions of dollars can be saved if we all make the right investment. In fact, a study shows that if one dollar is invested in our health, the return is five dollars and sixty cents, which is a 560 percent return of one's investment. By the way, no business gives that kind of return of investment. Now, Let's consider a different scenario. What if we can experience or affect weight loss at a population level? In a simulation model, a 1% and 5% reduction of BMI or weight leads to a significant reduction of diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and cancer. In Germany, using this model, a whopping 84% reduction of cancer cases was seen. So we realize change is needed. But again, even perhaps with the right intentions, where have we invested? Not in education, but in drugs and surgeries. 
We have focused on increasingly complex and perhaps dangerous surgeries because we are desperate. In new, fancy diet pills, in the hope of losing weight with disastrous medical complications. Such is the power of marketing. There is a diet for everyone on this planet. However, the sad truth is almost all are a failure. You lose and the weight loss industry laughs its way to the bank. So where did we go wrong? We need to refocus on the basics. Pills and surgeries cannot and should not trump common sense. We need to educate ourselves regarding calories, despite the marketing charms and past nostalgia. Decrease our portion sizes. Remove toxins such as sugar and refined carbohydrates from our food chain. And be careful, mindful, and grateful and become committed to holistic living to affect change. This is a high priority problem and we need to invest our time, effort, and money in the right education, right people, and right organizations as the returns can be immense. We welcome you to join us to begin your own journey to health and happiness. Please send us your questions and comments and thank you for watching.